Gary Fox and we are doing the last of the uh, LibreCAD tutorials probably of the tutorials themselves and definitely the last of the tutorials on blocks this is blocks number four okay what are we going to do tonight okay, last time I showed you how to uh, cut and paste blocks from one drawing to another you create yourself a master drawing that has all your blocks on it and then you can cut and paste those over to uh, to the drawing you're wanting to use. Well, tonight I want to show you how to get it actually into this library browser. And that has been a problem for me. I have uh, fell into just about every trap that I could find. So I'll show you what I've learned as, as well as I can. And um, first thing I want to point out. If you go up here to edit, you go to application preferences, there's this thing called paths, and you go to parts library, and it would you would think that you could put in a directory there to get to the path of where that you uh, want to store your drawings, your, your parts library, but it don't work. <laughs> there's a bug, and I actually found that in a forum, so you can forget that method. And uh, I just wanted to point that out before we if you go, why are you doing all this stuff? Okay, so we'll exit that. Okay, I've got a directory here where I've got a whole bunch of drawings. And what I've done, we'll pull up, uh, just put up, pull up this nuts four face. And what I've done is that I've broken each nut out into its own little drawing. And that has the block within it. So that's one one set of drawings here. And then I also have the one that has all of the uh, nuts that we've done, from size 4 to, to 8, both the face and the side views. We've created that a drawing, and we're going to put all of those in our library once we get our library done. And there's one of them here that I want to show you the latest gotcha that I fell into. So we'll go to this Nuts 8 face. Now, it, once you save this drawing and you've got it the way you want it, the very last thing you want to do is make sure that your insert point is right at 0, 0 on the drawing. And if we go to this drawing here, I'll show you how far off I've got it. And that bit me in the uh, you-know-where. So I'll do a two-point drawing, and I'll start my first point at 0, comma, 0. And I'll go here to wherever we're at. And if I do a zoom full, you can see that I was pretty far off from 0, 0. So we'll delete that point right now. zoom full we have our drawing back before I do that I want to copy this thing because I want to show you what happens if you don't copy paste and we're going to call this thing we'll rename it that's eight face XXX. It is triple X rated because it will ruin your day. Pretty nasty. <laughs> but anyway, we shall now go back to this thing. The one that we have up. And what we want to do is we want to do a move. We're going to select everything. And we're going to make our reference point at our insert point. But now we're going to make the insert point at 0, comma, 0. Delete the original. Control K. And zoom full. And everything is hunky-dory. And I'll show you what the difference is between 8 nut face and 8 nut face XXX when we get to this. Okay, we've saved all those drawings. 
and they're all moved to the reference point zero. This is the only one I didn't. So now what we have to do is get it in the correct directory. The way that I know how to do it in, um, in Linux is that I know how to do it using the, uh, the command terminal. And the directory is in user share user front slash user share LibreCAD library. And then we're going to create a new directory. And let me exit this while we're doing that. And we're going to create a new directory called nuts. Which is where I'm going to uh, store all this stuff. Okay. What I'm going to do, and I've already done this several times. So I don't have to type it all in this time. We're going to copy everything from this directory. It begins with the letter N. Everything from the directory that I have displayed up there at the top. It begins with the letter N and is a DXF file into our new directory. And it should be done. We'll do a ls. And they're all in there, including nuts 8 face underscore xxx. So I'm going to exit out of this. What I had to do to do that was that I had to uh, be the administrator, which is called root in Linux terms. I had to have root privileges because that is a uh, a uh, protected directory and only the uh, administrator is allowed to get into it. I believe it will be the same in Windows and I will give you the Windows directory and the, uh, the notes that are attached to this video. Okay, and I do not know it for... Uh, I do not know where it's stored in Apple, and I'm sorry about that. I just don't, and I will give you a, a uh, address of a form, which is where I got this other information, and uh, you can go there if you're an Apple user and you want to use LibreCAD. Okay, i got to exit out of this, so I am no longer having root privileges. And now that I've exited out of it, I'll exit the screen. Okay, we'll pull up our LibreCAD, and we'll pull it up into this uh, drawing right here. And now you see that I have a new directory in my light library. I have one called Nuts, and I've got each one of those individual drawings, plus I have the one that has them all. Okay, we are going to go to... We're going to turn off the notes on this thing. We use uh, layer zero, and we're going to go up here to nuts. Uh, we'll use the uh, number six nut face, and we're going to insert it. And we're able to insert it, and that has everything, including um, including our insert point and the others. But within it. We now have a block within a block, which is why I talked about that. And we could just use 8 nut face now, the same way we have in the past. We do a insert, and now we get it without the uh, extra stuff in it. So, it's working pretty good at this point. Okay, if I wanted... Uh, Let's say 8 nut face. Should be able to have nuts. Eight face. Yeah, here's nuts eight face. And that's probably just nuts eight face. We'll insert it. And you see it works pretty good. Now let's try what happens if I do nuts 8 face XXX. I insert it. And I'm like, where'd it go? I don't know. Now if I do a zoom, and there is my drawing right there. And this is a case of the incredible shrinking drawing. Which is why that you want to 
put the thing, um, why you want to uh, put it on the zero comma zero point right at the origin on the drawings. So we'll undo that one, and I can't undo it. Uh, we will do a delete. Well, actually, let's just close this drawing. We pretty well talked about what we need to talk about there. We'll open it up, close it without saving, and go to nuts. Can get them all, including the one I don't want, and I would go back into the directory and delete that. I'm not going to go to that trouble right now. And as you can see, uh, we can insert these however we want to. So now we have them in our library. Uh, hopefully this was clear. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure because uh, I pretty much wore out trying to figure the thing out myself. Uh, big deal is that you make sure when you save your actual templates, you save them at or near 0, 0. Put your insert point right on 0, 0, and it will insert it right where you want it to. Uh, when you bring it in, it brings it in with... Uh, with the full thing, but it also brings in the block so that you can just do the block without the insert point. Whoops, you got to do the right button up here. So you can do the block without the insert point. You might want to have the block without the insert point. Uh, let's insert this one. Oh, that's the whole drawing, huh? Let's see what this one does. I'm not real sure what I'm getting there. Um, anyhow, when you first insert the thing with all the info, you could do that off the side of the page, just like we did in the previous uh, tutorial. And that would make life uh, so that you know where the actual insert point is. But it's shown over here. And uh, so you got lots of ways of knowing where, where it's going to happen. Okay, if you want to do this one with all of them, let's do the insert of it. Let's shrink our drawing just a little bit. We bring it in. You can have it off the side. Now you've got all your blocks over here. So now you can take and uh, just do the individual component just like we did in the past. So we insert that active block. And we got that block without the markings. And that would be a really good way to do it. The only bad thing is that your zoom out would include what you have outside of your border. So you got many, many ways. Take some playing with. It's taken me a lot of playing with. <laughs> Hopefully I saved you some of the uh, pain and misery that I've went through trying to do this. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thank you. This is Gary Fox.